All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to another episode of Voice of the Boys, our second season, episode two. My name is The Rick Matthews. Do follow me on my Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram page. What, what, what is up, mga kariktards in Tagalog? Kamusta na po kayo? Welcome to another edition of Voice of the Boys. And once again, mga characters natin dyan, please help me introduce my co-host for tonight, the one and only Voice D Slayer. Nandito na po si Joshua Ravelas! Hi guys! Alright, kamusta? What's up partner? So far doing well. What about you partner? Not too bad, not too bad. So, here we go. Um, So I'm gonna be placing ma the Facebook link down below. And we're gonna have, hopefully, we're gonna have a couple of viewers over here because we're gonna be talking about Cobra Kai. We're gonna be talking about Cobra Kai for this episode. For all Cobra Kai fans out there, to the Facebook groups from Cobra Kai Dojo, Cobra Kai series, I hope you're watching with us because we have a very special guest for tonight from the cast of Cobra Kai. Are you ready for this, Josh? Yes, definitely. <laughs> awesome, man, because... We need, uh, let's prepare to get our noses bleeding because we'll be speaking English all throughout the episode. All right. All right. For the no sake problem. of our worldwide fans, not just worldwide, um, US, Europe, anywhere that Netflix has reached because of Cobra Kai. And Cobra Kai is number, has been number one for this month for quite a while, no? Yes, definitely. And it has a lot of viewership from all around the world. And it has reached a lot of teenagers right now, especially it has redeemed the art of karate. So uh, we're gonna yes. be digging into those in a while. <laughs> exactly. So we have so much to talk about, especially about season three. But here we go. Let's introduce our guest for tonight. Here is Mr. Jeff Kaplan. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hello, sir. All right. How are you? How are you? I'm good, good morning, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You guys are over in the Philippines. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Now, all right. This is what the internet does: connecting people all over the world. <laughs> Beautiful thing. Yes, sir. And now we are all connected because of one thing: that is Cobra Kai, a worldwide phenomenon. Thanks to what the the what do you call this the movie karate kid and because of karate kid it gave birth to a, a tv series that is being enjoyed by our generation right now and now we're on season three of cobra kai um grabe, it's been it's been already three years i i can remember the first time i watched it on a youtube uh, red it was formerly known as youtube red or youtube premium Ah oh, man, it was it was so awesome. Like uh, I had, I remember spending around, I spending the subscription just to watch Cobra Kai alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, I really love the, I really love that the series. It really changed my life. So uh, I wanna, we would, we, we would, we would just want wanna ask you a couple of questions about the series. So it's it's plainly just a, a quick interview, quite conversational. You know, just about your experience in the in the cast, in the while filming and stuff. You know, and how it changed it changed your life. So, all right, let's get to the first uh, question here. So, we're ju we're just curious. So, how did you get 
start getting casted in the in the TV series Cobra Kai? Well, I have an, um, an agent here in Atlanta, Jay Purvis Talent, and uh, uh, she sent me a audition for uh, audition for the show for playing Cruz, and uh, <laughs> I one one of my close friends and I went outside and uh, outside of the garage and filmed our filmed an audition oh, and man, sent it in, and about five days later, um, I got a call that said. Uh, we got an offer for you. We want you to be in it. And I was like, wow. So no, no callbacks or anything. Just they, they thought I was the right guy for Cruz. So I got <laughs> like right away. And, uh, a couple weeks later, I was on set and filming. Cool. What was it like um, working with William Zabka and um, Ralph Macchio? Well, William Zabka is very chill, very laid back, very natural uh, guy that you just like can hang out with and have a beer, you know, like, uh, um, and then you got uh, uh, Ralph Macchio, who's uh, a lot more, he's very focused. Like when he's on set, he's just, uh, he's kind of just there to do what he's there to do and you know he gets out but they're both all very positive and uh, uh, everybody just uh they get along with everybody and everybody's having a good time they're always very excited about it throughout the whole process awesome how long normally does uh how how long does it take you to complete the full season shooting shooting the shooting one full season of cobra kai um let's think uh maybe about four months something like wow that. yeah four or five months kind of uh the process used to be like we would air in april um when it was on youtube we'd air in april and we'd be filming by september and then film till about december and uh then they'd have time to edit and uh we'd get the video uh and then we'd have it back up in april that was the that was the original routine with youtube for you so that was four months of uh, everyday shooting or do you have like a certain schedule or certain break for this one and of course new prescriptions are um i mean i believe everybody was filming i think i believe the filming mostly every day um but uh, for me, you know, I'm only there when I'm when I'm doing my scenes. So you know, yeah. I'm season one it was only three episodes. You know, and then the, the next seasons were one episode each. But um, so you know, I'm kind of in and out, and uh, you know, everybody's doing stuff, and it's you know, you, we got to keep a lot of secrets too. So like, oh yeah, of course, a lot of people um, confidentiality. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the project is like, you know, you're just they're just bringing you in, and then you get out, you know. And so you know, sometimes I don't. It's it, I, I'm still meeting the rest of the cast. Like, you know, there's a lot of cast members I still have not gotten to meet. Um, oh. But yeah, it's uh, for season three. It was pretty cool because we had um, we did a. A full cast, full cast table read for episode one and two. So that meant we were all sitting around a table. Um, you know, we're talking like you know Zolo, Ralph Macchio, Zabka, uh, Amanda. You know, every like mm -hmm. so many different. You know, Jacobs there. Uh, <clears throat> a lot. Oh. Uh, Crease, he's there. Oh um, yes, John Crease. That was when I got to meet Cove, and I'm like, whoa, this guy's cool. <laughs> uh, awesome. yeah, Martin Cove, yeah. Ah, oh, I love, I love his, especially season three. They really gave life to a backstory to his character. Yeah. You know, it made it made him so much more relatable, even though he was the biggest, the main villain. Yeah, he's he's pretty dramatic. I love it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> How is how is it working with Martin Cove? Like, well, like he was so cool. Like he actually, you know, uh, like I said, you know, Ralph Macchio is kind of more in and out. Um, 
he's really good. But like when, after the table read, I got to sit down, just me, Johnny, and and uh, Co. You know, we we just sat down and we were talking, just having a, having a fun time talking about our lives and what you know where we what what's been going on in our lives, the travels we've done, and um, the experiences we've had, and you know that was surreal. You know, you're, you're just sitting around and you're talking to legends that oh, you yeah. grew up on knowing. Amazing. It's, Definitely. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's humbling. Really surreal and humbling, extremely humbling. And you just, just, as it's happening, you're like, this is happening. Like, wow. It is, <laughs> yeah. It's like you're actually on this set with Billy Zabka, Ralph Macchio, and Martin Cove. And that's like, wow. I used to watch these guys when I was a kid. Now I'm on set with them. <laughs> can't believe it it's it's uh it's a it's definitely a dream come true uh it's uh you know it's like i grew up watching karate kid uh, mm -hmm. i went to karate probably influenced because of the show uh, you know um uh my you know my family i have a lot of family that is into taekwondo and um oh okay they're like fifth degree, fifth, fifth degree yeah. black belts they run um wow yeah, they, run, they, run, uh, they have their own dojos, ATA karate, and uh, I mean ATA taekwondo, and um, yeah. So it's a, you know, it's it's definitely something that hit home with me. You know, like when yeah, I you got, also practice mar martial arts. I did a little bit. I got all the way to like I don't know. I went through probably like five or six belts when I was a wow. kid. Wow, uh, nice karate. Uh, broke my fair share of boards. Um, nice. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Karate. Didn't go into the, like any of the tournaments though. I never did that route, but I uh, yeah, I definitely did the classes. And you know, um I was always very much a little bit like Cruz, so I was getting in trouble and then you know they'd have to tell me to do push ups all the time. And you know, I I'm like <laughs> I'm like the guy in the room that finds the whole room, and I feel like I gotta entertain it. So, um, you know, but I learned my fair share of karate. Hey, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, we have uh, fans from the Philippines who want to greet you. So this is from one of our buddies, Nichols. Hey, Nichols. All the way from the Philippines, and Joshua. These guys are big fans yes. of Cobra Kai. Yeah. Oh, and he, he has a question for you. I'm not sure if you can answer it yet, but uh, feel free. So you guys already shooting for season four. Well, I do know that the script has been completed. Um, and I do believe that filming is, is beginning. Um, I do think so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't wait. Um, I don't have a definitive answer for you, but I do believe <laughs> some secrets are starting to happen. <laughs> you know, like, there it is. When yeah, do you when do you think? That. Yeah, I hope I hope it airs before the end of this this year because I know that Cobra Kai no, normally airs around uh, April of every year. Oh, so it was supposed to air April twenty twenty, but pandemic happened. So, like, I mean, you could do the math. I kind of broke yes. it down on how it went in the past. Yes. So I don't know, you know. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see season uh, four come out by the end of the year. Um, uh, it seems totally doable, but you know, yes, yes, definitely. Just no answer because we have that. We learned that lesson with season three because uh, sometimes things change and sometimes mm -hmm. the behind the scenes stuff is going on that you gotta. Oh like, yes, gotta roll with. I mean, we were supposed to come out back in April again, and then. We, got sold to netflix so you know it's like you know yeah. i did transition Definitely. i did not expect that that was a big move i was always hoping like, <laughs> yeah because i mean like i'd run around and i'd tell everybody about it and then they you know really the diehard fans are the people who went to see it on youtube but mm -hmm. if you weren't like a heavy diehard fan you kind of didn't take that extra step so some people didn't i mean um so it was kind of tough like i'd tell people all about it and then for about two years two three years and then all of a sudden it hits netflix and everybody's like holy man you're in the show and i'm like i've been telling you about it for the past yeah. two years <laughs> man that's like it, it's the best like me youtube is a big platform but netflix is like the holy grail of streaming almost everyone has netflix all over the world and 
to be num to to have Cobra Kai and have it number one in the Philippines, United States, Canada, in Europe, man, that's a lot of platforms you're hitting. It was, it was it's been number one in over in over twenty different countries. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. uh, you know the show itself has been viewed by over like seventy million households. Wow, and, and you know season three alone. It's done over like 40 million um, in this. We're not even done with its first month out. So it's pretty crazy. And they uh, still have Cobra Kai on YouTube. And I saw the first, the season one, episode one of Cobra Kai on YouTube. They have like around 90 million views for just oh, the first wow. episode. That's wow. overwhelming. So yeah, we got it in that. We got it. We got it over there <laughs> with those many millions. Yes, and over here with these many millions. So, I, uh, I mean, like that's incredible. What's uh, the numbers? The, the response, and we're not getting. Pe uh, and I, I'm really not seeing anybody not liking it. That's another cool. Yes, thing. it's such a the, mm -hmm. the storytelling and how it's. And how it's different from many of the shows that's being presented in Hollywood nowadays. This is such a breath of fresh air. You know, the yeah. storytelling is great. The way they they go back in time and make it relevant still, you know, because it's yeah. from Karate Kid, but they still make it sound and look cool. You know, they made 80s cool again. Yeah, and it's like, you know how like the old uh, the Karate Kid movies were pretty pg in a way you know like but then actually all yeah sudden, they're like definitely like they decided we couldn't do that again to really grab the the world right now and they brought they brought an edge by mm -hmm. focusing on the johnny and this this whole great story they created for his uh although it's like to me i'm like what happened to johnny I mean, like do you like, yeah, do you exactly. Like, beer for like twenty years or something because he doesn't know how to use his phone. Don't know how to use a laptop. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Hash it's Brown. Hash, Hash Brown. Brown Cobra Hash Kai. Send it to the internet. Send it, Send it to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And believe it or not, Jeff, me and Joshua have been fans of Cobra Kai before it even came out on YouTube. Before it even aired. Be mm -hmm. now, if you're familiar with the How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barney Stinson made the first claim that William Zabka was the first karate kid, not Ralph Macchio. And I was like, God, that made so much sense. Like, it gave, it gave Johnny Lawrence another perspective. So seeing Johnny Lawrence over, over there and How I Met Your Mother and even being part of kind of like the main cast through the final season and stuff man that was like oh i can't i wish we could have like a spin-off of this and then after like four years mm -hmm. there it is <laughs> yeah it's pretty uh it was pretty amazing i remember the moment watching that show and seeing that that depiction and that idea that that barney uh, put out there and that was like a whoa this is I didn't even thought of it like that. Like and that was a cool twist. And then, you know, like I don't know exactly the the how it broke how it actually came to uh to be into the hands of uh you know John Hayden, uh yeah, Rob, yeah. um the creators of the show. Uh but mind you, I do know that they made Harold and Kumar and all oh, oh interesting, interesting fact. I'm not a fan of that one. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the three <laughs> of them made Harold and Kumar, which had, uh, you know, Barney Stinson in that. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah I remember. Was, so it could be, <laughs> I, 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 I very well <laughs> think it probably did have some influence to cross over and to bring that into its uh, fruition. And I remember in Harold and Kumar, they made... Neil Patrick Harris or Barney Stinson before Barney Stinson was made, I remember. Like they okay. depicted. Before? <laughs> I can't remember if it's before or if it was after. I don't know. Like I feel like it was a couple of years, I, th I think. There was a lot of seasons that they did, so I don't remember when it started. But 
I don't know. I'll double check on that. But yeah, it was so funny. Like he was such a lady. He was a, such a player on Harold and Kumar, and then seeing him on How I Met Your Mother, and then you know, and learning about him, his real life story. It's so it's so funny. It's so amazing. You know, he's yeah, such a great that was actor. Another cool twist from him being the the doctor as a kid. Like Doogie kid Hauser. Doogie yeah, Doogie Hauser. To then eventually becoming this wild man, which is like in a sense kind of what we did with John. You know, I mean, like yes. he, was, he was still a tough, wild guy, you know, but now we like really open him up into like some other wild version, <laughs> and it's just been such a funny ride. He's my favorite character in the show. I love it. I mean, aside from Cruz, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who Who is your Who is the Who is the closest person you're you're with in throughout the series throughout the the shooting? Well, I keep in touch with uh, uh, Trey. Uh, Terrell. Oh yeah, I keep in touch with him. He's he's back and forth between L.A. and Atlanta, and uh, you know I've been holding down Atlanta for until I, since I was three years old. Like I I feel no reason to be going anywhere else unless it's taking me there, like for business. But um, uh, but other than that, I keep in touch with um, Carmen here and there. Um, oh, Carmen! Yeah, she's uh, she's just a sweetheart, and uh, we get to talk. We it's interesting. We never actually got to meet in person on set, but we have oh connected through the internet, and you know, really? keep in touch. Um, <laughs> then we got you know Robbie is real cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tanner yeah. Buchanan. Yeah, Tanner Buchanan. We we've, we've met a couple times here and there outside of the set. Um, uh, my stunt double, uh, you know, oh, uh, yeah. Noah Garrett. Keep, you know, I've known him for ages. Um, and we also, before we knew we were going to be in the show together, we uh, we would walk around and tell people we were like twins. We would just do that. <laughs> and, then, and then we show up on set and we're like, what are you doing here? And he's like, I'm your stunt double. I'm like, what? <laughs> so cool like you know so like i got to share a really fun experience with a good friend too that i'd already known for so many years and um let's see who else is out there um uh you know i don't i mean everybody's most of them live in la and so um they they all come down here to start filming um okay and like so I they said, do the series in the in 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 Atlanta. So they film yeah, there. The whole okay. thing's filmed in Atlanta, and then they do like establishing shots in LA. So like you know in you know the valley and stuff. So mm -hmm. and when we go to do the beach scenes, we go about four hours east to Atlantic Beach um, over at Tybee Island and film those there. So uh, uh, you know. Everybody gets back and everybody's getting real busy with uh, all the success of the show. So, um, you know, as an actor, you kind of really just, you see each other when you're working um, and you kind of, you're getting passed around a lot. Um, so, oh, yeah. It's, it's a fun time. And, it, you know, we, we get to spend, we, we do cherish the times we get to spend together. Um, mm, and indeed. Uh, whenever we see each other again, it's like, all this new energy is picked up and it's like starting over it's like not starting over it's like continuing but with this whole new escalated energy and success of happiness from the show's success and all the catching up and being like dude i'm you know i watched you guys on the netflix after hours thing you know like that's oh great, yeah 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 you know, like things like netflix. that um even one time there was a uh uh, Mary Mauser and uh, uh, Tan and Tanner had a interview, down, a big uh, public interview um, on stage at a big giant uh, karate tournament um, here in Atlanta. And uh, one of the one of the uh, fans, Jonathan Hunter, uh, who I've kept up with since the beginning, he's also one of the background extras in the show and. Uh, he uh, he told me he's like Jeff, are you gonna be there? And I was like, well, I didn't know about it, but now that you mention it, uh, 
so I actually surprise showed up to the to the show, and like I was, I, I get into the, I, I run into the back of the room, and I just surprise them like towards the end of the thing, and I'm like, hey Robbie, and everybody turns around, and and then and then everybody's like, oh my god, we got a surprise guest crew, and they brought me up on set, and then for the rest of the day after that, we we all hung out, and that was a great time, um, yeah. Really great people. Um, we, we're kind of, me and Robbie, we're kind of like, kind of similar to our characters. Like, I mean, Robbie's not so angry in real life. <laughs> you know? um, and I'm not so bad, <laughs> like, uh, in real life. But we have a very similar dynamic where, I mean, he's kind of, he's kind of my little punk little brother. I kind of, you know, so I feel that way some way, you know, like, I don't know. We keep we we jabbing each other, you know, making uh, making jokes. He can be a little smart ass sometimes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. like, your characters are kind of like an extension of you. Yeah, and I guess I was discussing this with somebody uh, just yesterday that I'm I'm pretty method. I'm a pretty method actor. That when I start getting into a character, um, kind of even more embody it, but. You know, to an extent, of course, but you know, I got more. Definitely got a lot more edge to my personality um, since working as Cruz. Um, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been a very, very positive type of person. That um, has been. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I've never been considered the tough, the tough badass guy like you know so that's been fun uh it's been a fun time doing that character uh i really am enjoying it a lot and uh it look looks like you have uh lots of comments here lots of fans from the philippines and i think from cobra kai the cobra kai groups as well from uh, wes ingram hey, hey, hey jeff <laughs> my boy wes <laughs> nice. oh, welcome wes <laughs> What's ground. up? All the way from the United States and yeah. now from the Philippines. Oh, we have you. You have a big fans from the Philippines here. Oh, hey, Co Ethan. What's up, man? It's Cruz. Hey. Nice fan of the show. <laughs> and Jerry says hi. Also from hey, the Philippines. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, Jerry? What's up, and Thea? Thea. And here you go, um, our lovely friend Kate, uh, Kate hey, Devera, and Ryan's of course back. Rian. <laughs> Rian, Ryan, Rian, Ryan, Rian, Jalice and Marie. Hey, how you doing, Jalice? <laughs> here you go, Jalice Marie. Atlanta. That's so. Cool. Oh, we have a question over here. If you can answer, you have what was the most frustrating scene? If you're allowed to answer that, okay, yeah. My very first one, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, it was, you know, it was overwhelming to realize what's happening. I mean, I, I was very versed on how to uh, on set life because I've been a filmmaker for 18 years. Oh, wow. Um, so I've been making music videos and short films and feature films on my own as a director and a writer and an actor. Um, so when I got on set, I was. Um, I was very comfortable with knowing what's going on, but everything is going on at the same time. And you're witnessing what's, I'm realizing that this is happening. You know, this is happening right now. And the second I do it, it's done. And there's no going back. It's not like a actor. It's not like me as a director and uh, I'm doing my own stuff. And I'm like, you know what? We can do that better. Let's go back and do it again. Well, it's most likely just going to be like, oh, you did it. You're good. Let's go next. So <laughs> there's a lot of weight on your shoulders when that's happening. I went in and um, I was kind of, uh, uh, I was a little flustered. I wasn't even feeling the best. Uh, so I was feeling a little nauseous too. Like it was, it was, I was kind of like, I, I don't know. I was just nervous. Like, nerves were kicking in. This is all about to happen. And, you know, I'm coming in learning more about who I am. I mean, like I was acting with Trey and Robbie who I'm like just now meeting. Like 
Mm-hmm. So that's another twist to it. It's like, well, okay, well, you gotta, we gotta find out who we are even more. Which I found like over time, um, I think all the characters are becoming more and more their character. Like they become uh, more embodying and understanding the character even more than they did in season one. Um, and I think that happens with a lot of shows. Um, yeah. You see the shows start to develop and get more uh, intricate and the characters become more developed. And um, yeah, so like that first that first scene where I, where we get the 15 inch laptop and uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like noise. I'm, <laughs> I'm like nervous. And I'm like, they're giving us, I'm not like a, I'm not a skateboarder. And on top of that, they gave us skateboards that were like, I don't know, like from Walmart or something. Like they were like toys. So even when we had to try and to try and skate, we're like, we already aren't like super skateboarders. And then we have to like try, we're doing it harder, you know, I'm like, and it's harder than riding a good skateboard, but it was just a funny experience. And just, yeah, we got into it. got the ball rolling, and then everything got easy and, and a lot more fun. And we got to know each other more. Uh, start and this is the, this is you in season one, like without the without the beard, the mustache. Oh man! <laughs> yep, it was just, just me, just me, just drink this off. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was a fun yeah, scene to shoot because um, I was I was really starting to get into it, and uh, there was actually a scene. the The intro scene to it was actually cut out. Um, and oh, it made okay. It the final thing, where mm. we come in and I'm just like, "What's up? What's up?" You know, and then then uh, the waitress comes up and I start I start like hitting on her, and. Uh, <laughs> I started being a little like pervy about it. I'm like, "What's up, girl?" Like, and then we start going into the scene, and it's a shame because she, but she did not make it into the final cut. Um, oh, okay. It's a shame. You know, that's why another big reason why people, why you don't, why you shouldn't be like, why we don't talk about what's going on until it airs, because yes, because you, you know, like it might be a deleted oh, scene. Okay, so even like all season one until it aired i didn't even trust that i made it into the final cut you know because oh who knows they might be like um you know what i let's get rid of that character they could have done that um but yeah 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 i mean thank god they didn't um and uh you know it was you know but you so like when that's another cool thing about the show for me is like when the show comes out i'm watching it for the first time the same way you guys are so that's a really cool experience. Oh, that's awesome seeing yourself on yeah. youtube red once i'm with set, millions of people <laughs> when i come off set i you know i didn't even see i i don't get to i don't get to see what i even really did like i gotta go and like ask mm-hmm. hey let me run that take back let me check it out like but we're moving the ball's rolling we don't really have you know, it's, it's just super not necessary because we do a lot of takes. Um, and mm-hmm. so once, oh, yeah. I, once I get off set until it airs, I mean, sometimes, you know, I'm pretty in the dark on what's happening until it's until it's out. Oh. But that's like at the level of my character, you know. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not Robbie. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. The main uh, cast. You know, John, yeah. you know, like they're, they're, of course, they're, their hands are like extremely involved in the whole process. Oh, you know? yeah. I believe they're even their executive producers too i believe so yeah oh. they're gonna see what's up i believe i believe john <laughs> ralph macchio and uh, williams yeah Adams. it could be yeah I especially know, like, ralph macchio actual production especially ralph macchio yeah uh, i have my friend here gene a big fan gene all the way from the philippines and we have mm-hmm. uh kath K- kathleen brett <laughs> Cobra Kate in the house. Cobra Kate. Oh, she has a question. How old is Cruz supposed to be? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> well, I don't think we've ever solidified that answer. But he's definitely over twenty, um, and he's definitely under twenty-seven. Um, <laughs> I believe he's supposed to be around twenty, two, three, four, right around there. Like, uh, but overall, the attitude is like. 
that's just it's just I got that I got that aged attitude without knowing exactly how old he is. Like we just know <laughs> that he's like a little bit like definitely not fulfilling his future like in a good positive way. He did you know like he's still hanging out with high school kids to steal stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Feeling wild. Actually, yeah. Petty crime has a switchblade. He can't be too evolved, man. He's he's not too. He can't be too old. I mean, hey, there's still old people that aren't smart, but um, you know, but true, true. Yeah, but he, uh, yeah, I would have guessed originally around 22. 22 but, years old. But you got to remember as well. Now there's been like three years. There's you know, there's been three years in the storyline. But I know I think there's technically I think like it, two years in the storyline. Yeah, more or less. But we had three years in our lives um, as mm -hmm. behind the scenes. But so um, yeah, I mean, I'd say when the show started, he was mainly probably supposed to be 21. Someone's uh, someone's asking, "Where's Miguel?" <laughs> Where is Miguel right now? <laughs> <laughs> right now. Uh, Hey Miguel, where are you at? Um, I, I he's probably he, he might be down here in Atlanta right now. Um, oh, you know, I mean, we're definitely the show is definitely whether it has already began filming right now, it's in the process of <clears throat> got to be. So, you know, I've been seeing um, some a lot of the cast members are coming down here quarantining and getting mm -hmm. ready. So, um, I've heard rumors. <laughs> from lo local um, crew members that um, me as well, that, that uh, they believe it's already begun filming. Um, you know, like- When you, know. you when you did season three, was it already during the pandemic or was it way before? Um, <laughs> season three um, was filmed before the pandemic. Ryan Park okay. Parts International, what's up? <laughs> Your buddies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, season three was filmed. Uh, um, I filmed my scenes in around October um, of 2019. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, 2019. Yes. So, um, and then, yeah. and then we were thinking it was going to come out in April. And yeah. Word that it was going to transition to Netflix right mm -hmm. as COVID starts happening. And, uh, and then we were all kind of just wondering, when is this coming out? Just the same way you did. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. It took you know, almost like, two years. <laughs> yeah. And just being like a huge fan of the show myself to begin with. Right. <laughs> really cool and you know my i was very eager about it too um so it was uh it was a great ex you know it, it was cool and I, i'm not you know i'm glad that everything went the way it went and, uh, yeah i think as well they really you know they, they wanted to get all the karate kids back out there they wanted to um you know they wanted to they wanted to do all the publicity properly and they did oh yeah and once they realized it was going to be uh, um, oh, here's a question here. Maybe you have a backstory about about Cruz, where he you think he met Robbie? Good question. I guess I'm supposed to leave that up for the writers to, which because uh, personally I'd love to see their spinoff where they you know I'd love to see Cruz actually yeah I'd love to see Cruz come into um into uh I'd like to see him get a little darker. And then I'd like to see. Yeah, him. you get your own show with Robbie. Yeah, and then I would like to see him come to a better place because a lot of people have been predicting these theories that. Uh, oh yeah. That something happened to Cruz, like as a younger kid, that like maybe something with his dad, and um, um, and uh, you know maybe something just didn't just didn't go well for him and you understand the same way that we did with johnny how to like understand his backstory same with crease like everybody's getting kind of redeemed so their dark mm -hmm. and i think that when cruz got out of high school whether he 
graduated or got a GED or I don't know, did not graduate. Um, I think he just started drinking and smoking and stealing stuff and never left the, the high school kids alone. Like, and, you know, because he could take advantage of them. And, um, and eventually it led him into prison. So. Yeah, the scene in season three, the one I just showed, that where where John, Johnny was slapping you like two or three times, and then you were starting to bleed, and then at the end scene, uh, Trey started to uh, calling out. You were crying. <laughs> I love that. This is like the best scene ever. I was so yeah. happy about it. Like uh, I, it aired at three a.m. and I took I went to sleep early, and then I woke up um at 3 a.m to start watching it right away and i just went straight to the scene um i was just like <laughs> i gotta see how they did this because i know it was funny on set but i gotta see how they cut it together yeah and how I, did they do it did they really slap you <laughs> <laughs> well it's a fake slap but johnny actually slapped me one time <laughs> really? he, didn't, he didn't mean to but he totally smacked the crap out of me and um and we just kept acting we just kept doing the scene until it finished and then as the scene they go call cut he's like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry man i did not mean to do that and i'm like don't worry, man. It's cool. We got a great <laughs> take, you know. Like yeah, yeah. Usually when it mm -hmm. when it when it turns real, you get a really good take out of it. Oh yeah, I, I felt <laughs> that. I really felt that. <laughs> it's yeah, good in season three, you know. <laughs> I love the background audio too. Like I love the scene so much. Like yeah, yeah. I, uh, like when when you hear the, I think it's Trey in the background. Damn! Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, one of the other scenes. Um, I want to. Oh, and then at the end of the scene, oh, I, I didn't. I think I don't. I don't know. I have the script here. I'm not sure if uh, it was in the script or not that I was crying, but because I remember like on set them being like all right yeah now you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna like be crying at the end and i was like what all right okay funny all right whatever let's do it let's go <laughs> <laughs> it was funny like they added a lot of uh comic humor on your characters like season one and two you were more like beaten up and stuff but season three they uh johnny even called you a nickname a really a really funny nickname so it was like <laughs> you remember the tweedledum oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're tweedledum <laughs> <laughs> Tweedledum and Tweedledumass. Who do you guys think is Tweedledumass? <laughs> right. I don't know. <laughs> Could be one or the other. <laughs> I kind of think I'm Tweedledumass. <laughs> Especially because he already made fun of me. You know, like he already, you know, you know, made fun of my mustache. And um, yeah, he made fun of my mustache and then. I shaved it off because I was in fear. Um, so I think he's pinned me as the dumbass. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. Like, do you, do you ever get recognized on the street? Hey, Tweedle dumbass. Hey, uh, hey, Cruz. <laughs> Since season three, for sure, it's been happening. Um, <laughs> what has happened from season three has just been tremendous i haven't felt this response out of anything i've ever done and i've done a lot of things uh from my music to my filmmaking uh, my nightlife photography to my actual portrait photography to everything like i've just never felt this type of embrace it's you know like and a lot of it, you know, can feel like when you're feeling like fame, which is kind of like, whoa, like I didn't, you know, like you're kind of just riding along with it and you're like, oh my God, this is really happening. Like we're talking about a show that, you know, 
like we said, all the numbers of the view counts, like that's oh, a yeah. lot of people and around the world. So yeah, when I'm <clears throat> when I've been out, like everybody is yelling Cobra Kai, um, <laughs> talking about the scene. I have a little jack. I have a jack. I, I have a pin on one of my jackets, Cobra Kai pin. So like sometimes I'll just walk in somewhere and they're like, "Oh my god, it's Cobra Kai, right?" Oh, I love it. And then I'll be like, "Yeah, I'm Cruise." They're like, "Yeah, holy crap, you are!" And like, yeah, so it's like funny because I don't look like Cruise in prison right now. You know, like I'm walking. Yeah, around. yeah, yeah. You know, I've yeah, got my hair back and shave my face like that way. I've always been like a chameleon. I can change my look a million times, and really much, I can put on like any outfit and pull it off. So, but this well, is more me. Like, I'm, I'm out here a little more. Not, not I don't <laughs> like that. Was that they decided what to do with my facial hair? Personally, I would have never done my facial hair like that. You kind of remind me of uh, if you were familiar with Chris D'Elia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you totally look like Chris D'Elia right now. <laughs> right now, yeah. And there's, there's a comment here. Even the minor characters like Tom Cole and even if you're from familiar with the homeless Lynn, even they're popular. You know, that's yeah, how big this true. series are. <laughs> it's been an amazing twist on the, this world of uh, actors and stuff. Like, because... Uh, Thanks, Kathleen. Um, like uh, they, we're we're keeping in touch with the fans. Like we're all communicating that beyond them just liking the characters. And that, we're uh, it 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 kind of evolves it even more. We have like a huge like camaraderie amongst the the community of fans. Um, no small parts. I'm so happy. Everyone. That's actually yeah, actually true. Even your character has a has a, a backstory. Has something to add through the series. As a fan myself, Cruz has got well, an incredible role. Like he, oh yeah, I mean nobody gets to say like I mean there were a couple people that fought both Johnny and Daniel at the same time at the at the car. Uh, mm -hmm. at, the, at the garage in season three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, I've gotten to fight Robbie. I've yep. gotten to fight the Karate Kid, Ralph. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, oh did. yeah. I got to get slapped around by Johnny and make fun of my Johnny. Like it's just too funny to me. Like it's just amazing what that character has been. That what's what's been happening to him now he's in prison like i mean that's funny <laughs> jay cap needs his own dojo Thanks, yes Brian. sir yes we <laughs> should <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious oh, man. Here, actually, another uh, element of this show the yeah actually yeah you're you're most of them are very interactive what does the other what other cast from any other other show does that actually exactly yeah from the major no, characters no, no, no. to the minor characters there's there's some but i first off the other thing is is it's the fans like there is like really no other show i've ever seen have this type of fan base yeah 24 7 365 theorizing what's gonna happen yes talking back and forth just it's incredible yes. like mm -hmm. i've never seen such like fan commitment and passion and uh the, the the groups everybody started i wonder i would love to know like the actual numbers like who like out of all of them like i don't think any show has this many fan groups and this many amount of people like i, I just i don't know I, I i don't know the numbers but i just don't think so but it's amazing and yeah i, I, I mean we owe it the success of the show yeah we owe it a huge thing to the fans of course like without, mm -hmm. without the fans we didn't have mm -hmm. we didn't have the actual success of the show we didn't we didn't get we wouldn't get picked up by netflix we wouldn't have a season four coming we wouldn't have you know it's like but you know i mean the show has its legendary you know thing to it you know when i got gosh man i just remember the moments when i got 
when I realized what I was auditioning for first, I was just like, holy crap, this, I gotta have, I gotta get this. This one's like the one. And then I call it, they call me, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this just happened. I think my life has changed uh, like a lot. And um, ran around the house, freaking out, trying to tell people what's going on, but can't tell people what's going on. Yeah, Uh, yeah. Uh, You're um, itching to tell them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah my, like my close and immediate family is knowing about it, um, and of course my roommate who helped me film it. Um, but then finding out I've had three episodes of season one, I'm like, yo. So it was funny too because I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened. I'm I'm gonna be in the Karate Kid show. Mm-hmm. It's about Macho and William Zabka. Oh, oh yeah. My God. And I didn't even know Martin Cove was coming yet. Oh but yeah. Man, he cool. was another surprise. Um and then I'm like, oh my gosh. Then I'm I'm like, oh wait. And I get paid to do this? Like, I was just like I couldn't believe that. I was like, I would have done exactly. this free, man. Like Oh yeah. This is just a dream come true. Some people are paid to do it. <laughs> right. I, but I probably would have too. Yeah, I'd have taken out a loan. I mean, like, let's go ahead. We got to do this. Um, but it's so funny. Uh, so then season two comes around, and they're like, uh, "Yeah, so, so only you're only going to be in one episode this season." I'm like, "Oh," but they're like, "But you're fighting Ralph Macchio." I'm so what? No way! Legendary. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh my gosh, so such an such an incredible. You know, this would be interesting. Maybe season four, maybe Crease gets to slap you next. I'm waiting for it. Or, I'm, damn, I'm like, right, I got this. I got this. It's a uh, Crease is coming next. I, I, oh yeah, <laughs> prepare yeah. your face. <laughs> that would be I'd awesome. Love, I'd love to see where this goes. Um, it, I, I, it's you know it's it's a wild ride and it could go anywhere and uh, I have my theories. Maybe I'm Crease's son. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe perhaps so. perhaps I'm like possible. it's my, my theory is I'm like Cruz Silver. Ooh, oh, oh, like ooh. Sweet. Uh, uh, perhaps perhaps uh-huh. perhaps perhaps. Yep, perhaps. Yep, yep. Like, you can you know, see it. We can, uh, you know, maybe I'm Allie's son. Who knows? You know, it's like a million <laughs> ways. We've seen all the theories on uh, on the Facebook and on Twitter. It's like, oh yeah, everybody's somebody's son, somebody's daughter, and then Chris won't think Chris is Cobra Kai material. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bummer! I'm not, bad, I'm not bad enough. I thought <laughs> I would hope that I could. I'm gonna come in and be like he's dirty, he's real dirt. He's like he's a dirty man, you know, running around doing the the hard stuff. I don't know, you know, but who knows. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's got their theories. I'm a fan myself, so I'd love to see it a million ways. I'd love to see, yeah, Cruz be developed more and, and then, you know, it have his backstory exposed. Yeah, take over Eagle Fang, of course. Yeah, I'm team. Definitely after season three, team Eagle Fang all the way. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. 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 <laughs> Eagles don't even have fangs. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> We, if you, I sat and I watched the whole season back to back with my family, um, New Year's Day, um, first day of the year, and we it was a riot. We just couldn't stop laughing the whole way through it. Just is so good. It's it's just, what the what these three have done is incredible. Um, and then you know you got executive producers like will smith on this you know like, exactly yeah incredible yeah. like and he did I, the cobra kai in 2010 sorry uh karate kid, kid in 2010 kid. yeah which has got um uh, some not so great reviews uh, but i thought it was a great movie but mm-hmm. as i think people just compare it to the original and the reality you got to take it as just own separate movie even though it's yeah all, i think so following the same mm-hmm. format and it was, it was kung fu, it was <laughs> so kung it was fu. weird. Somebody it karate it. I don't kid. know if this is true, but I read this last night that originally it was supposed to be called Kung Fu Kid. Yeah, and yeah. They, mm. it. they they forced him to go continue with Karate Kid, mm-hmm. which I I don't know. I think it would have been interesting. 
nice to separate it. Um, yeah, it could have been. Yeah, I don't know. It was its be- own I, universe. I, I, it was bad. I never thought it was bad. I enjoyed it. It was okay. Yeah, so I remember I, enjoying I it. A lot of the fans mm-hmm. were looking at it like, "Hey, you copied it, but it ain't even karate." Oh, <laughs> Uh, let's play a little bit of a meme your review like just a bit of an icebreaker for our uh, for our fans over here i have two memes over here so ones we're quite familiar with so first one we we just talked about it a while ago <laughs> oh my god yes <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris. there it is Man. see we told you yeah, look at him. He's totally <laughs> a Johnny fan. Like that man, he wants to be Johnny. Like, he, look at him. Now, yeah, Johnny is that person too. And he's, well, you know, he's always hollering at the girls. What is it? What What's the thing everybody's saying? You know, Johnny's an American badass who loves uh, '80s rock and <laughs> hot babes or something. You know, I see in that post everywhere. It's it's. That's, that's Barney. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. I feel like Barney is a little bit of a Johnny Lawrence in there, in him. Look at him with the hot mm. babes and the metal. He's, you know, <laughs> he's got the little blonde hair. He's got the little outfit. Now, it's interesting, too, because, you know, that's not a show. And that had other writers. So, you know, even though he's in it and he's doing it, I don't. I, it may not have even been his his idea. You know, I don't know. I don't know the full background, but he killed it. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, that was the best. Now here's another one. That's probably. What What if Mr. Miyagi was still alive? How would he feel? <laughs> 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 Pat Marita, man. Oh Pat Marita. That's funny. That is funny. He's like, yeah, he must be liking the as we get. He must have liked season two a lot better. I, think. Um, yeah, we, 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 what, I what, bet, yeah. Season two, we got we got more Miyagi students. Um, Miyagi go. Now, what are we all? We don't even know what we are now. Like, actually, yeah, that would be interesting. Now. There was Eagle Fang, but now they're coming together. Yeah. We gotta uh, find out the what they're gonna be called now. They're, they're training under the same roof. That's interesting because Johnny doesn't know Miyagi. So Actually, how can he and, teach Miyagi though? Wait, he can only teach karate. This like so. There's a, a different. <laughs> he would definitely recommend a lot of. Oh, for sure. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wax on, wax yeah. on. There were even theories or that black Cobra black. Kai even uh, was originated from Sa- if you if you know Sato, Sato do or Miyagi do Sato version. Right. Mm-hmm. There were even rumors that Cobra Kai, um, uh, John Kreese was trained at one point by Sato when he was oh. in the in Okinawa. Nice. <laughs> All right, that would well, be interesting. Man, the theories mm-hmm. get outrageous. There's, right? Uh, they're all over. I mean, I've never seen it. It's, it's so amazing watching people with their theory. And I really love that um, the fans have really actually latched on to Cruz a lot. Like, um, yeah. They actually mm-hmm. really do like this character a lot, which is a, is a blessing and just an honor. And uh, absolutely. I mean, he's really gotten written some funny stuff. Um, I'm very, I'm very, very happy with what 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 has happened with Cruz. But like the the fans have come up with so many different theories. Hey, Linda, another actress in Atlanta. Here we go. Um, oh, hello, Linda, and from the Philippines, uh, one of our hello, closest Dan- friends. Yes, Dan Dan Serrano. Serrano. Hey, what's up? A man? huge. He's actually a, a <laughs> he teaches karate as well. Oh, in the Philippines. Uh, yeah. Wow. Look at how badass. <laughs> <laughs> and my uncle, this is my uncle, yeah. Uncle E Man. Oh, oh, Daniel provoked Johnny. <laughs> yeah, he was. I mean, that, oh, I know what I know that feeling too when I was watching that scene. You know, like, you no, know, we ever had a, we had, had a friend that was kind of like you do your competition. And then there's that girl, yeah. It, like you could see it in that conversation. And Johnny's being a little—I mean, Daniel's being a little poking at him a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> but already, yeah, not minding his own business. <laughs> yeah, Johnny had gotten his head start, and then Johnny got mad right away just by them talking. Yeah, all that, all that flashback, like, oh, here it goes again. Even though, come on, man, what about Carmen, bro? I love him. Yeah, and what about Carmen? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. For the development of season four, how would they blossom their relationship? You know, coming out straight out of alley. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just saw. I mean, you know, they said Ali and them almost kiss. You know, Ali yeah. and them almost kiss. <laughs> but this has just been from Carmen really opening up to him and like you know staying the night and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, so we, we didn't. I don't think we picked up after that. So we just know that he le- he left with um, the satisfaction, the understanding that Allie maybe isn't that one anymore, and that Carmen might be. Perhaps so I would like to mm-hmm. develop more. I love them together. I just, I mean, just seriously, I love all the characters. There's not a character in the show that I don't like. Oh yeah. But um, I, I'd say when anybody asks me, I'm always Johnny. Johnny's my favorite. Oh, he's definitely. Such he's the guy. centerpiece of Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai would not be without Johnny. <laughs> oh, my God. But there's some mm-hmm. moments that season three, Ralph Macchio came through. Like, all of a sudden, like, season one, I'm like, everybody's thinking, like, I don't know about this guy anymore. And then season two, he's kind of still, like, he's kind of a, I don't know, he's this got a stick up his butt like, you know, <laughs> i don't know about this guy a little white a little not so and that's what i'm talking about how like the old karate kids were like very like pg and very like soft and all on the oh yeah the way mm-hmm. and then now they come out with the edge so everybody of like young and old like can, it's like you, you can, some kids can't even watch this shouldn't watch it yet <laughs> actually yes <yeah>. especially some <laughs> Season three is a bit more edgy than the other two seasons, I believe. Robbie and Miguel. Mm-hmm. That, that, <laughs> that is that is yeah. weird. <laughs> and this is a friction already. The love triangle itself. <laughs> yeah, the love I triangle. Wondered if Chris get, got Cruz and Trey out of jail. Exactly. Me too. Oh Dude. yeah. Robbie, bring the dark side back to Robbie. That's what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about. That's the, my, that's last. Been, that's been my theory from day one. That's why. Exactly. I the last episode of season three totally feels like the Revenge of the Sith vibes all over it. Right. Yeah. I love it. That I fight that's scene, a, man. An in-game <laughs> some Star Wars in, in this movie. <laughs> Steve. Oh, man, you're right. I got to send it to you. I just got settled in my new place, man. I told you I'd send you that. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I've got it right over there. I just need to go to the... I got to go and send it in the mail now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right so we have a, yeah, a last two more questions oh sorry what about one of my favorite things i was getting to about um daniel was then in season three he came mm-hmm. he 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 got I, I there's something about him he like became a lot more redeeming to me as a fan like i was kind of like i know i like this guy a lot more now mm-hmm. and one of my favorite lines is like when Johnny slaps me, he's like, "Enough!" <laughs> <laughs> His reaction was so. Come on, Johnny! <laughs> Enough of that, Johnny! <laughs> he just freaked out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's really oh, wait, cool. That was really cool. Sitting around, talking to talking to Ralph Macchio, like just sitting around having lunch with him, just sitting down and. Oh. Uh, talking before we did that scene. We're sitting in our active chairs waiting in this other small area until it was time for us to come back out. We're all mic'd up and we're just having a conversation. Talking about the old things that I've grown up seeing him in, you know, um, uh, from my cousin Vinny to uh, to uh, talking about even his on the celebrity roast of uh, was it Rob Lowe? Yeah, he was uh, the Comedy Central's uh, show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, what I told him was like, I, so much out of everything, like I thought he gave one of the best speeches on that, the celebrity roast, and he ended it with like, and now that's acting. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> never forget that. And yeah, yeah. Sitting that's there talking cool. about that, like I'm just like, wow. 
and then I'm doing the scene. I'm just like, this is, this is amazing. I can't believe this is really happening. So we have a couple of more last two questions for you before we end the show. So Joshua, do, uh, can you do the honors? All right. Um, with our last two questions, um, um, first of all, um, what are the most important lessons that and values that you have learned while staring and making Cobra Kai? Well, um, you know, I learned, I, mean, I definitely at least just learned what it's like to be a part of something like this and also like what it's, what it's like to do, uh, to be on a multi-season, this is my first um, multi-season show that I was in. I, um, so that's a whole new experience that I've never um, had before. Um, so if anything, one, one, it's like, you know, trained me how to be prepared and ready to do it again and develop and grow to the next level. and. Uh, I mean, you know, I've learned a million other lessons from the show as a fan. Um, you know, we learned about Johnny. We learned, you know, it's just like we just, I don't know, everything in the show is giving us another great thing to learn about. Um, so I don't really, I don't know, it's a tough one. That's a tough question. But, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, the lots of things to be learned, um, you know, as, but as an actor in the show, it is really help beyond make me uh, come to a, a comfort level in a major production and uh, understand what it's like to be a part of a uh, multi-episodic uh, series. Um, and, you know, cause I, I, I've come from shooting major music videos and uh, you know, corporate videos and uh, mm -hmm. uh, fashion videos and all sorts of stuff. But even before I did that, about 10 years ago, I was on uh, a TBS show, Tyler Perry's show, Meet the Browns. And that still airs to this day, but that one was like in one day, out the next, you know, done. And uh, this is, this has just been really cool to know it's coming again, you know. What's next? What's next? Oh, you know, yeah. always Season on, four. I'm always on the edge of my chair. Season like, four, wondering man. What's going to happen? Although I have do I do have one question though. Um, what do you guys think if ever we get to see Neil Patrick Harris star mm -hmm. as a cameo in season four? Oh. What do you guys think? Yeah, <laughs> you guys up for it? Yeah, I guess love he could. that. I guess he could. It's no reason why he couldn't be in this universe. Um, I think that'd be hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I'd even, yeah, like even like to see Jaden Smith pop in, not even playing that kid. He doesn't have to play that kid. I just love to see him in, you know. Um, I'd like to see so many of the characters come back. Um, Hillary Swank. Hillary Swank. Oh, yeah. I would love have to, to bring her back there. there. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's likely, you know. She was in that show Home um, about the same time when they dropped us on – season one and two on Netflix. So she's in with Netflix and the original. So I don't know. It seems like, it seems like the conversation has got to happen. I don't know. I'd love to see it. I just rewatched that one the other day. Um, that's an interesting karate kid. <laughs> the next karate kid. Not my favorite, mm -hmm. but, um, <laughs> but funny. Sometimes there was a lot of funny parts. I really loved all the, like, the were they monks or, or all of yeah them? yeah yeah they were monks those three monks yeah, yeah. They, were <laughs> they really they stole quite the show mm -hmm. i uh, believe yeah and it was interesting because like you know it's coming from like uh, you know he was he was like taking care of this girl like is like all of a sudden became her grandfather almost like her dad and like that was an interesting thing it was beautiful and uh Cool to see a twist on the yeah. story, you know. That scene with the prom, that was that was amazing. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. The dress, everything. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that was beautiful. The dance, karate dance. Yeah, but man, those, mm. those villains in that one were like, they were they were extreme. It's crazy when all of a sudden like people are about to die, almost die in yeah. shows too, because they to me it was like a very 
like I said, seeing PG, and then all of a sudden, yeah. whoa, like, you know, episode, you know, it's not episode, um, Karate Kid 2. They were fighting yeah. to the death. Like, Chosen. Does, does his mm -hmm. mother know about that? <laughs> you know, I don't think she'd be happy with Miyagi letting him fight to the death. <laughs> It's crazy. I have a trivia for you guys, though. Remember the one of the monks in um, the next Karate Kid, right? There were three, right? Yeah, three of one them. One of them actually appeared in Karate Kid Part Two. Really? As yeah. Well? You you remember the guy that was strumming the um, shamisen? That's what we call it. That guitar in mm -hmm. Karate Kid Two. If you ever see Daniel go through the village itself, you would see a man. Um, playing the shamisen or the guitar so yeah. um, when you see that part you would notice that he's the exact same monk that's that was cool in the next I'd have to I'd have to relive that to rewatch it yes, yeah definitely Makes I sense. encourage you to do yeah. that because when I was watching it again I was like wait I know this guy before and he was there as well and I got mind blown <laughs> it was really cool yeah. So we go. Oh, uh, so um, you know that's a good theory, um, and I see that he has stepped in to try and help. You know, he tried to mediate and bring Johnny and Robbie together, um, and then Johnny went for Miguel instead. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I I love the leg sweep of Bobby in the and on the beginning of the up the the episode. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's quite yeah. funny. Yeah. Lord, forgive me for what I'm gonna do. Boom. <laughs> I love I love that scene too, but I also love like the small moments where like Johnny is always looking at the girls. Like it's hilarious. So he just like looks at like, ah. you know, like, you hey babe. <laughs> So funny. These are the babes. <laughs> yeah, when he's at the when he's at the like uh, the rehab center, and he just immediately like starts checking out the chick right away. Like, <laughs> so funny. Oh man, so funny. I love this show. And that's oh, we all do, man. You know, because you get casted in a lot of it, you, I, as an actor, you get auditions and I'm, like when I write and I do my own projects. Um, I have the power to make what I want to see happen. But oh, yeah. as an actor in the industry, you become, you audition, you audition, and then sometimes you're going to get casted in something that maybe you're not even a fan of, but you want to mm -hmm. do it. Um, mm -hmm. And because it's a job and because it helps outside your, your comfort career, zone. You know, it doesn't mean that you're, it, maybe it's not your fortune, maybe it's not what you like so much, but. You know, maybe you're not into horrors and now you're in a horror film, you know, but sometimes you just get casted in something that you're not that big of a fan of. But in this situation, I want to tell everybody to watch it. I'm just like, this is the, like, this is like the best show. You got to watch it. And everybody who watches it is happy they watched it. And, you know, it's, 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 it stinks. Like sometimes you're going to be like, all right, well, when do you come in on this show? All right, I'm going to fast forward. But not, but not with this show, not with Cobra Kai. Watch mm -hmm. the whole thing. And it's beautiful. Exactly. Every, every episode has its, has its moments. And it's really good. And maybe if you, if speaking of that, like maybe if you'd like to share, this is going to be our last question. So maybe any advice for any aspiring artists out there that you would Absolutely. like to share? Um, Absolutely. Um, so as an actor, I was always an actor when I was a kid. I was performing all over the place, like anytime I could. And I was on stages. Um, I had a little video camera and I made a little video. I was like a little kid, third grade, submitted a class project with a video camera. And like then, you know, what you got to do is you just got to keep getting your hands involved in it. Like go take some acting classes. Um, um, network online, network in person, um, pick up your, even if you don't have like a video camera, video camera, pick up your phone and mm -hmm. make a skit, learn how to edit on the iMovie, make something, Yes. start a YouTube channel, um, mm -hmm. continue to just uh, 
network and you know you know if you can get somebody who wants to be an aspiring photographer as well or you just use your phone again in portrait mode or something get some headshots do a bunch of different looks like change your appearance so that way they can see your range um and put together a little book um submit it to all the agencies you can find on google um any of them that are around you um if you can um if you can have your own little projects, it's a, another thing about becoming a filmmaker too, is that you have, you don't have to wait around for somebody to cast you. You can write what you want to see done. So you want to devise your, your, uh, your reel um, and gear it towards what you want to have seen done as opposed to what the industry got you to do. You can develop your own brand, put together your photos, your little videos, Submit, submit, submit to all the agencies. Look on websites like um, Backstage, um, um, Actors Access. Look for, look for, um, look for the, the 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 agents and the auditions. They're out there. Um, you don't always get the big one first, so you got to start somewhere. And the start only, small. The only way you're going to get to there is by doing it. Starting like. Uh, man, Build like, your portfolio, like Shia LaBeouf said. Just do it. Like, do, it. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. Nice. Shia nice, LaBeouf nice. is amazing. Uh, but yeah, like uh, you got to do something. Um, <laughs> you're stupid, Ryan. <laughs> See, Ryan's mentioning that uh, maybe one day I'll be in a J-Cap music video. And Perhaps. I'm J-Cap. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> J-Cap's my, <laughs> my nickname, my stage name. Uh, Jeff Kaplan, J-Cap. And uh, yeah, so he's being funny. Um, like I said earlier, when William Zab could accidentally punch me, it, it, was, it was funny. And it was an enjoyable experience. And we got a great take. So I was... Uh, I'm not in pain. Because <laughs> he, he slaps like a punk ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And, uh, Here's yeah, another one. D I Snyder. Got to, say that to him on camera, that was so funny. I couldn't believe like, I get to say that. I'm looking him in the eyes and saying that to him. I was like, wow, this is this is amazing. <laughs> um, the to pe to the people try to become famous will be on your videos. Yeah. Could be. Mm -hmm. to become famous will be in your videos. Thank you for well, I, I don't fully really understand you, Ryan. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I think it was because you were giving advice to those aspiring artists, and maybe those art same artists can start being part of your music videos. Or oh no, yeah, no doubt. Um, we just did a uh, we just did a film competition recently, where it was a forty eight hour film competition. We have to make a film from start to finish, eight minutes long. And uh, two of the Cobra Kai members were, uh, I casted them oh, in there. Two of the, two nice. of the guys that really? are Which one? That are in the Cobra Kai. Um, um, I guess because we haven't really dove into who the characters are, so it's like describe what they look like to you. Oh, okay. You know, um, like, they, like non speaking one roles. One of the guys with the red hair. Um, and then yeah. you know one of the other guys in there they're part of the cobra kai group um, you, would, you would recognize them if you see them but i can't i don't know how to tell you anything other than they're just oh there it is maybe these guys mm. Rains, there's one chris lewis exactly like they both were in this so you can look them up on imdb and see who mm -hmm. we talked about there um mm -hmm. but yeah they were hilarious it, it's so funny. <laughs> it's so great to be connected with so many people because when you when you come and you film in Atlanta, um, there's like a local hire um, uh, thing you have to do. Like you have to hire X amount of Atlanta people because there's also like a giant tax incentive for filmmakers to come to Atlanta. Um, you know, so a lot of the cast and crew were from LA but then we have a ton of other members that are local even close even as close to like North Carolina you know but like 
but these people are local Atlanta people. So like, yeah, we're keeping in touch. Like, um, and I'm always posting uh, opportunities whenever I'm doing a video on, I'm posting it on my Facebook and stuff like that. And then they're always looking for something else too. So we're trying to, we're trying to all work together and grow um, as a community and continue to, to, to help each other out. Um, I'll be doing a photo, sh I'll be doing photographing both of those guys soon. Um, and uh, yeah, anytime I'm going to do a project, I want them involved. And I try to call Trey too, but he's all over the place. Man. That guy's, he's busy. He's mysterious too. <laughs> Trey. Wow. <laughs> he's, he's in the other Tyler Perry, Meet the Browns. No, he's not in Meet the Browns. He's in uh, House of Pain, which is like the brother and sister show. I was in, I was in uh, Meet the Browns. And he's in House of Pain. Both oh, yeah. Tyler that Perry shows, which is interesting to me. I was like, wow, that's crazy. And then we got brought together, like in Cobra Kai. It's interesting. I don't know. He's a, yeah, Very a, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I hope to have him here someday as well. Trey, we're calling you out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You can chase him down. Yeah, you, you can find he he, he he talks too, so he's out there, and he'll love to. He'll we'd love to be on the show. It's a great little show you got here. I love the interaction where we can talk and see these pop up questions. Yes. You guys are you know very fun people to talk to, and it's got a nice little format and everything. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Awesome. Yeah, glad Thank to have you. you on the show. And I want to call I want to call it out on the universe as well. Billy Zabka and Ralph Macchio, we would love to have you on this show as well. There it is. <laughs> Especially Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> Neil yeah. Patrick Harris. There you go. Yeah, get him to come in and help interview with them. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Are you a wrestling fan as well, Jeff? Um, I have been more in the past, like back when like Sting was a wrestler, Rey Mysterio Jr. Diamond Dallas Page. Nice. Yeah, Roy Goldberg. Like, yeah, back in those times, I was more of a wrestler uh, into it. But nowadays, I've uh, got a little bit more interest because I've been working with Mojo, uh, doing photos. Raleigh. Yeah, so I've been doing oh, yeah. photo shoots nice. for Mojo. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so that's been pretty cool. Um, it's just a, a fun reminder um, about it. Me and my dad went when we were kid. When I was a kid, we went to we went to a couple of the WCW <laughs> events. Yeah, so it's it's I just around it. the corner in Atlanta, right? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that, but I know back that then. We, back then, I we, I think probably one of the shows came to town, and I was and we went. I had like the pillows. That were like shaped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrestler, wow. which I I would love to get those again. Those are so. That's a that's a throwback. And then I had all the action figures. Yeah, I was I was into it when I was a kid. And my dad and, and I, all we would ever do is wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know that Diamond Dallas Page, if you're familiar with him, he's just around the corner in Smyrna, Georgia. If that's oh, nearby yeah. your place, yeah, he has a performance center there. Really? I'm calling him out. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm Diamond Dallas Page. Someday you'll be in my show. <laughs> yeah, I hear he's teaching yoga now. Yep, DDP yoga. Yeah, I, I, I do it on a regular basis. You do? Wow. It's nice. the best, yeah. I did a lot of Tai Chi this year. Um, during 2020, while I was on lockdown, um, oh, yeah. I began nice. just going into my backyard, and I started doing a lot of Tai Chi. Um, it's actually like a natural understanding of it. It was interesting to know as I started with breathing and then I'd start moving into it and then I'd be like, mm -hmm. wow, I'm like an airbender. And like, uh, was, and then I was like, wait a minute, what am I it's, doing? Even? It's familiar yeah. with the kata, you know, in the one they do, did in Karate Kid, the kata. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dance, you know, yeah, exactly. Karate yes. Kid 3. <laughs> and what was cool, actually, what was you're cool? referring to the Bon Bon dance. Was it oh, on, yeah. the, on the like yeah. platform in the water? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, um, that's the one where um, Kumiko, if you watch the part two of Karate Kid, the one oh, that they okay. do. The karate oh, that's Bon Bon Dance. Yeah, that's what you call Bon Bon. But the, move, the, the movement you see in 
Probakai season two on the water on the pond. That's a yeah. different cut already, but yeah, that didn't come from Gojuryu. Like yes, that's true. Like yeah. this, like as an individual, is Tai Chi, and like I was, I was like, I was doing it. And I'm like, what am I doing? I think it's Tai Chi, <laughs> and I was like, mm-hmm. holy crap! I went online, and I'm like, oh my god, because it. It's amazing what you can do. I remember when I was in high school, somebody teaching me how to just d- build a force with just your hand right here, and you'd feel it. And we'd be like pushing your hands away, and the force is literally pushing your hand back. And mm-hmm. then when I started getting into this during the during quarantine, um, it starts doing it. Your you start doing it without you. Like it starts once you really get into it it's making your own moves like it, it it's the you you've created this energy field and it's amazing i do uh i think it was, it was that was probably my favorite part about being quarantined for a few months was tai chi take, taking the tai time chi. to experience tai chi and, <laughs> and flow with the energy in the in the world it's beautiful there it is yep. maybe and if you'd like to promote some of your some of your social media platforms, Jeff, your Facebook, um, Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, everything pretty much is I A M J K A P um, across the boards. I am J Cap. So, like, you know, Instagram, I am J Cap. Twitter, I am J Cap. Facebook.com slash I am J Cap. I am J Cap.com. Um, although my YouTube channel is um, it's J Cap, the filmmaker. So, um, it's youtube.com slash jcap the filmmaker that was i've had that page for like 10 some odd years so it was like before i was even i am jcap like i rebranded everything but i can't can't figure out how to get it back switch it back to i am jcap on there so you can always access all of those social medias on my website at i am jcap.com all right there it is i am jcap.com i really all appreciate it right. Uh, yeah, any support that y'all can uh, share with me, if y'all follow those pages, that would just that would be tremendous help. Absolutely, man. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it's been yeah. already since the beginning of this year, since season three dropped. Like in fifteen days, it had over like th- over three thousand new followers on Instagram. I was like, whoa, this is crazy! Wow. So, <laughs> crossed over ten thousand followers now on Instagram. Like I'm like, wow, that's pretty interesting. So stuck it. I six. won't be surprised if you'd reach around a hundred k when season four arrives or season five. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Yeah, because it, it's still very fresh. Like there's one yeah. thing about one thing people do with series is they wait till all the seasons are done. Some people, some people won't watch the show until they know they got enough to binge you know exactly so still got a lot of long life life ahead of it of uh, the viewers yes and, and it's you, you still have a few more seasons that. Um, all right yep and there it I, is i would believe we're having i believe we're gonna have a couple more seasons for sure uh, oh um, definitely uh, i'm uh, looking uh, forward uh, to that one more uh, what's up from mm-hmm. scott spencer Yo, scott that's my man <laughs> Hey. He helped me move. He helped me move into my new place. That was awesome. There it is. There's my boy. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff Kaplan from Cobra Kai, also known as Cruz. Thank you very much for joining our show and looking forward to someday have you back again and maybe with a combination of tr- of a Trey and Cruz the next yeah. time. <laughs> we'll probably make that happen. I'm going to call. Definitely, man. That would be amazing, you know. Looking forward. Perhaps when before season four begins or when they start filming the trailers and stuff, we'd love to have you back, you know. Maybe with more of the Cobra Kai cast someday. Hey, and I don't ma- why not? We can make it happen, especially with all of our local Atlanta. All oh, yeah. The, uh, the local Atlanta actors are very much involved, so we, we'd love to. It would be an honor to be back on the show. And I'd love to get more of us in here and make it even bigger. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the United States of America, Jeff Kaplan of Cobra Kai. Once again, thank you for joining our show, Voice of the Boys. 
ladies and gentlemen, do follow our Facebook and TikTok, Twitter, or yet yeah, all our social media platforms on the Rick Matthews and Voice D Slayer. There it is to see more of our content like this. So here, here it is. Welcome to the Voice of the Boys, and we're here to talk about anything geek, geek stuff, basically anything man related or guy related, like comics, movies, and Cobra Kai, wrestling, you name it. So mm. hope to hope to hear from you guys soon. Once again, this is Richard Abalos, also known as the Rick Matthews, and my co-host, Voice D Slayer. And once again, our our featured guest for today, Jeff Kaplan. Thank you so much for Thank joining our stream. And y'all have a good morning. <laughs> All yeah. the way from the United Morning States and, and good day <laughs> and good night. All the way from the yeah, Philippines. Now it's about time to go get some food. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There Definitely. it is. Get some grub. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cobra Kai <laughs> never cries. There it is. Let's end it on that note. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why Chris doesn't want me. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Nice. Nice. Have a Thank you so much, day. Jeff. Thank you. Have Thank a you so wonderful much. day. Thank you, viewers. Yes. Peace man. out.